How's it going guys? My name is Mr. Boss of the Win, as you guys already know that, and welcome to another episode of some Black Ops 2. So pretty cool episode today. Uh, I'm going to be running through a list of like Activision's things they highlighted at their uh, conference call. And, uh, you know, I, I really encourage you guys to leave comments on this video. It's going to be one of those videos where uh, I really want you guys to get involved. So like, comment, do all those great things. And uh, Activision talked about the highlights of the success of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And I'm going to list off some of the things they said. So some of these are true. They can't be denied. Others can be, um, you know, said for themselves. And there's some uh, Call of Duty ghost news. Hopefully you guys enjoy this as well. So uh, they stated that Call of Duty is the number two franchise in North America, uh, Europe and uh, North America combined. So that is pretty crazy. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 outsold Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 or Modern Warfare 3. Wow, I'm getting ahead of myself here uh, in retail and digital. And that makes sense because obviously as we increase in technology, uh, we're going to be increasing in people that uh, use digital outlets like um, you know Amazon, eBay, uh, Steam. Places like that, instead of going to GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart, having to deal with that hassle. And uh, because of that, their digital revenue has increased year over year. So from Black Ops to uh, Modern Warfare 3 to Black Ops 2, their digital sales have gone up, which I think is really cool. So Activision CEO reiterated that the Call of Duty Ghost announcement is uh, coming, obviously, on the Xbox reveal on May 21st, 2013. And on that date, they are planning to share more information, more being in air quotes. And what I really get out of this is they're going to give us a, a trailer that shows some actual, you know, maybe campaign gameplay or cinematics. But what I really get out of this is that Activision is still buddy-buddy with uh, Microsoft, meaning that all the DLCs and bonuses for Call of Duty over the next few years, probably over the next generation of consoles, will come to the Xbox first. So uh, if you are a die-hard Call of Duty fan and really want to have things early, that might sway you away from the PlayStation 4. I don't really know. Um, I mean, you can wait a month, but if you're someone like me who does videos, it's nice to have these uh, DLCs the day they come out, which I think is very cool. So uh, I'm definitely going to be getting an Xbox. Don't know about a PS4. I might be getting a PS4 just because I think it looks really cool. So, um, And I can't wait to try some of the exclusives on there, which I know are very awesome. Uh, the CEO also said that Ghost will be supported by the biggest sales and marketing plan that the franchise has seen to date. And, you know, honestly, that makes sense because they are working with a next generation console. People are going to be spending their money on a new generation console. And uh, they can't just bring the console home and expect to have all the games there. They have to buy some games. So they're going to hype it up with the new generation of consoles, whether that be PS4 or Xbox. And, um, you know, I think that's going to be very cool. So uh, be ready to see a lot of commercials, maybe a lot of DLC. I mean, we've already seen this so far. I mean, we've seen a ghost camo in Black Ops 2 that was pre-planned. This camo had to be put in the game like months ago. And uh, in order to be ready for the ghost announcement. So very cool. Uh, I know that the team over there is working very hard to get this ready to go. So the Black Ops 2 DLC has been very successful so far. In fact, 60% of the purchases have come from the uh, in-game Black Ops 2 store, which obviously helps out uh, Treyarch and Activision because that, that gives them more money. That's like buying a, a, a music or an album off of a uh, artist's website instead of iTunes. So they get more money. So... You know, at the end of the day, that's all that really means. And finally, Black Wolf, second to last, Black Ops 2 has the highest all-time active players of any Call of Duty to date. So, as many people say the series is dying and it's not doing well, you know, more like five or seven or eight, nine, tenfold people are coming onto the series brand new and just getting started. So... Uh, you definitely have to take that into consideration. Finally, the last thing, the CFO made this comment on Black Ops 2 micro DLCs, and I'll tell you about that right now. So... In addition to selling map packs, this quarter we introduced an all-new digital model selling micro-DLCs that lets the player personalize, customize, and expand their Call of Duty experience. Although this is a small contrib contributor to the franchise overall, that's I call BS, you guys got a lot of money off that, uh, we're pleased with our results and most importantly we've struck the right balance between providing items which have real value to the fans but in no ways compromise the core gameplay experience. So. It's good to know that they realize that these micro DLCs should not be play to win, but I also think that they need to consider season pass holders 
guys who have already paid for the DLC. Maybe they get it 50% half off, something like that. It's a shame that I should even say that because we should honestly get them for free. It's ridiculous, but that's a whole other topic for another day. But anyways, guys, uh, my name has been Mr. Boss of the Wind. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I know the videos have been kind of slow lately, been hanging out with my family, my parents, etc., hanging out back in the old school before my summer classes start. So videos will be ramping up soon. Thank you for hanging in there. I appreciate it. Go ahead and like, subscribe, do all that awesome stuff. Have a nice day. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video.